Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor here. Today, I'm going to give you a, a mad crazy bolo here. It's something that I would have never thought that would be worth some money. Um, I lived in an area where you'd find these constantly. It's sea glass. Now, I lived on the beach, and we used to see it all the time. I never, ever once when I lived there thought it would be worth money. Um, in the last, say, three or four years, a friend of mine turned me on to it, um, showed me some of the prices that these things go for, and I was just floored. I could not believe it. This is the one craziest thing that I thought, you know, couldn't be possible. There's just no way. Um, it's something that you can actually recreate and still sell. Um, for the most part, people want the legit piece, but we're going to talk about sea glass. You're going to see what I'm talking about. It's the pieces of glass that have been tumbled on the beaches, on the shores that are just these phenomenal. They look like gems. People sell them for tons of money for what they are. Um, but we're going to go over the screen right now, and I'm going to talk about that specifically. Okay, so now I know this sounds crazy crazy, but literally this is just pieces of glass that have washed up ashore and been tumbled in the, the, the coastal areas and tumbled smooth or rough sometimes, but it's a vintage. It looks almost like a raw stone, like a, a gemstone or something. They're very popular. Size means everything in these two. You can see the size here. You can do this technically in a rock tumbler as well. They sell them online. I don't know how in the world you'd ever be able to tell the difference, in my opinion. I've lived on the shore. We lived in Flagler Beach. I lived just a couple blocks. I could walk to the ocean literally within, like, you know, a minute or two. I was that close. I could hear it at night from my bedroom window. And I used to find glass all the time. I mean, we'd always did. It was really neat to find shells and stuff when you lived there and you're younger and everything. So I've passed on hundreds of pieces of glass. If you live on the coast, this is something you should be doing, especially when, you know, the tide comes in and leaves all these deposits and stuff out there. There's some areas that are so much better for it. Near the piers always seem to be better, at least from my personal experience. Um, we took a trip down to the coast and unfortunately didn't have a chance to even look, but I've got friends who make money doing this. If you look online to on comps, you're going to find some people that are probably making thousands of dollars a month just doing these pieces of glass that they either find on the beach or whatnot. There are several that I counted at least four or five thousand dollars just in the glass stuff like this that they're selling in a month. So, you know, there's more than likely someone making 60 grand or selling 60 grand or more on these pieces of glass that chances are they could have gotten for free. So this one's right at $500 for these. These aren't bogus prices. You're going to see some on here with multiple bidders like this one, 23 different bids. Genuine Beach, usually they'll tell you where it was found as well. These are all the same basic color. So that's a big plus on this one here. And you can see a diamond here to compare it. These these people usually scour the beaches, you know, on a, a non-official basis. They're probably working it for themselves, just extra money coming in. This isn't crazy prices. 280 bucks for these pieces of broken glass. Um, here's a couple pieces, $200, just two individual pieces. It's like a jadeite uh, UV glass. I would imagine it's the glass that you hold up the UV light and it glows yellow. The uranium glass, I would gather. 200 for these. Again, this is a small area. You just got to have the potential and think about this. I bet you there isn't a single person out there that thought you could sell this type of item. Maybe there's one. I'd be shocked. But, you know, I, I never believed this until a few years ago. And I find it on the, the lakes up here, even in Ohio. Lake Erie, Lake Superior, usually on some of the inlets up by like Mackinac, the bridge area up there in Michigan. That area, usually we found a ton of it. There's even small lakes that you can find stuff like this, depending on, you know, how old the lake is and, and, you know, the chances of this showing up in certain areas. Usually it's places where people discarded glass and stuff. Piers, as I said, 195 for these, 64 bids. Now, these are marbles that were washed ashore. Uh, there's a thing called mudlarking. There's um, a YouTuber, and I think her name is Nicola White. Um, she does mud larking on the Thames River. She turns up like colonial coins and um, pipes. And I've dug these same type of things with the metal detector, or we've dug pipe pieces at site. So I fully, you know, relate to what she shows on there. 
But mudlarking, you'll turn up stuff like that's just basically walking the beaches and shorelines of the rivers and things like that. In England, you, you have to have a permit to do that. With the permit, if you find something cool, you have to take it to the art museum or the antiquities, I guess, collection. And if it's something that the museum doesn't have, you basically are required to give it to them. But they'll compensate you monetarily wise what its value is. And most people are very happy with the way they do things over there. Here, you can't do that. But... Anyway, marbles show up all the time, 850 bucks basically. They're frosted, they're, they're worn, tumbled chips, the whole works. They've been in the water for a long time. Rivers mostly on those. Here's a big chunk of glass. Someone turned it into a necklace, it looks like. Again, these people use these as jewels and things like that. It's not crazy at all. Um, Lake Superior, here's, a, here's one found in the lakes. It's perfectly fine to find these up there. Again, because the lakes have been around for a long time, there's glass disposed in the water for, you know, 100, 200 years for the most part. 165 bucks. It's like the color of a mason jar from like 1910, 1920. Here's another huge one. You can see the size. It's almost four inches across. Who knows? It's a melted piece of glass or something that lists the place it was found. $164. These sell at, at Buy It Now's bins or at auctions. Either or, they, vote, they all sell. Everyone doesn't sell for a ton of money, but you're going to get a couple bucks for most any decent looking one. Here's artwork made out of it, and I see these too. Some of the mudlarkers do artwork as well, and they'll put it together and make images and things out of artifacts that they found in the river. This is all from glass found, you know, in the ocean, basically. 375 at a buy it now. It could have went for twice that, for all I know. I wouldn't have sold this one short because I know, you know, the value in these from, from checking out sea glass and stuff like that for years more pieces this is usually what you find again vintage style glass coca-cola bottle glass is basically what this is and what it looks like 50s and 60s stuff like this will still turn up worn like this after it's been in some areas color wise it goes well english glass for whatever reason there's older glass over there in the channel and you know the thames and, and such forth so this type of stuff will show up in multiple colors usually from older medicine bottles and things like that the, the otter colors yellow is pretty rare red's rare uh, orange is rare the dark dark blue is is fairly rare as are some of the opaque colors the same thing with marbles and glass bottles. It's the same stuff that's rare in the bottles is rare in the sea glass. 29 bids. No lark. This isn't just some made-up thing here or fake bids trying to make some fake money on it. You know, it's not a scam. This is really collected. 157 157 bucks for those. Small grouping here. Various colors, but it, it's almost like a rainbow of colors in, in that genre, that color scheme. You've got red, orange, red, orange is brown, a little more orange, and various mixes of red. $153 with 26 bids. Little tiny pieces. Here's a single piece, multicolored, from Lord knows what. Um, sometimes they're topped, you know, and there'll be glass, clear glass on the bottom, and then just colored on one side. I have no idea what kind of glass this is. It usually says English sea ham. I'm not sure if that's a style of glass or what. I've never looked into it because I haven't ever found any quite this fancy, but $122 for this one tiny little piece of glass. 22 bits. People make collages and all kinds of things with these. So it goes for more than the marbles on their own. It's just fascinating to me. The heart shaped ones are collected as well. You see some hearts in here. Those always go, if they're red, they go for much more. The heart ones I know, people make beads out of these, and I've seen them in person, so I know they do. I've seen them on the coast since we've realized these were worth money. Then we started looking, and sure enough, we found them at like craft fairs and things like that. They go for good money even locally in jewelry. Jewelry makers will use these pieces very exclusively in heart and love pendants and things along that line. So anyway, $102. 28 bids here's another single piece it's a pink rose like a pastel version it's just a hunk of glass that's been worn and tumbled $99.90 or 99 cents 100 bucks basically another tumbled one this is amethyst purplish um, designer gem and that's exactly what they do somebody will probably make a, a necklace a pendant or something out of it you can see part of the actual inner part of you know where, where the original inside was from what it looks like to me rather interesting across the board this is just a crazy one 
sometimes, you know, big, huge chunks and lots, when you can't sell them individually, they'll just dump them off just like this in a big, huge piece lot. Somebody spent, you know, the money for shipping as well, too. You know, it's just a pound or something of broken glass, basically. And you can do this on your own if you really want to. You can throw it in a tumbler with what, you know, little steel ball bearings or what I see, or sand they will use, too. I've seen some water tumblers that people have made, and they'll just throw sand and seashells in, and it'll actually simulate very directly the actual effects you would get from, you know, it, it being on the shore and stuff. I don't know the legitimacy of selling those as surf tumbled because they wouldn't really be. But, you know, tumbled glass would be a fair enough analogy. Um, surf ones would be best. So all of those folks that have beaches and lakes around you, it, it's a freebie. You know, there's nothing more than walking around, enjoying the outside and picking these up. There's places on the beach, and I know I've been there, that just a ton of seashells and glass show up on the same little segment. Once you find the honeypot area where the stuff just washes up, it's usually routine. And after storms and rain and things like that, there's more of a chance in finding it. You can find it on lakes and rivers even, so just keep that in mind. We've got lakes and rivers up here, and I still do find it. It is something that you can sell all the time, all season long. You know, it's just some crazy ball item that I would have never thought a few years ago would have been worth anything whatsoever. But here you go, proof in the pudding. Look it up yourself, you know, verify it on your own. Go look up some comps and sea glass. Just type in sea glass and look what you find. You will be surprised at the quantity that's sold for decent money. All free broken glass. But that's what I have. Well, there you go. There's a strange item. There's something that I do actually pick up. It does show up on lakes and shores along that line, too, which I have found. I lived on the beach, and I just wished I would have known about it years ago when we lived in Florida. I've sold a ton of it recently um, from a friend that actually ships it my way occasionally. Um, but it is worth, worth selling. It is worth looking for. You know, if you live in the right area, you can find a ton of it for free. You know, mudlarking and things like that. You know, it's just something that does show show up and does sell. So hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. Hopefully you're really going to think out of the box with this one. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.